Hey guys, um, it's Davis again. Thought I'd, uh, I know it's a little early, but I decided I would do a little bit of a EDC update. Um, I know I was talking, I've been bringing it up a lot, but the, the changing of seasons. And so I wanted to do a, a video on how I've updated my EDC and how I carry. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and look, uh, what I carry on my person. It hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, some stuff seems a little ridiculous and it probably is, but uh, I'm going to let, go ahead and let you guys take a peek anyway. So, uh, like I said, let's go ahead and get into All it. All right guys, so, something like this is my usual attire. Blue jeans, um, soft shell and a hoodie. Even if I have to walk for about an hour, my work's about an hour and a half to two hours away from where I live, uh, depending on what ride I take. And usually between 25, 30 degrees for me, an undershirt, button up, hoodie, and a soft shell is usually warm enough. If it gets colder than 30, then I might beef it up. Well, sorry, if it gets colder than 20, then I might beef up my wear, wear an actual uh, winter jacket. But this is my usual type of attire. Um, I usually also wear winter hat, maybe gloves. But for the most part, this is my usual outing attire in, I guess, what could be still considered the fall time. Um, but yeah, jacket pockets usually have my vape, my cell phone, vape juice. Um, sometimes I'll keep the phone here for easier accessibility. The hoodie's just there for insulation. But aside from that, my EDC hasn't drastically changed. But it has minor differences. Um, so aside from that usual, we got the house keys, car keys, all that stuff. Um, minor tools, I got it riding on a Leatherman carabiner it's got the the thing for the screwdriver bottle opener uh gate style um aside from that i got a sog key tool or key knife got the bottle opener uh one of those little banks and guitar picks because my oh and i try and work out from time to time um aside from that the only other thing i keep on my belt well one of the other couple things. The same Leatherman I always carry. Seen that in other bits. Um, switched wallets, went back to a bifold. All that stuff. So we got dual card slots. It's got amazing stuff. Um, this is just some homemade shits I got in Sitka, Alaska while I was there. Um, other pocket, other back, back left pocket, we got the field notes and my usual kit. I don't know if I ever showed you what was in this, but I need to replace some of this stuff. Maybe we'll do a video on that eventually too. And then we got my usual front pocket. So the one thing that, that swaps out a lot anyway is the EDC knife. Um, I usually try and carry at least two EDC knives. Um... We got a Remington that came in a gift set in a gift box, just a little lock back design, kind of like a buck 110 knockoff type deal. A little ergonomic. It's been working out really well. Um, the blade's been holding up pretty decently, but you can tell it is a softer steel because, I don't know if you can see it, but cardboard gnars up the, or scratches up the edge. So it's already showing wear for not a ton of use. But the edge is holding up fine, and that's really what counts, right? Um, aside from that, another one I've been carrying a lot recently is the CRKT Outrage. I think I gave this guy a pretty good review. Love the pocket clip, short, works, deep carry, um, full lanyard for full grip. And the reason I've been using this one a lot is, if you don't follow me, you can check out my Instagram. Um, but, chef knife. <laughs> I've been cutting potatoes, cutting onions. For some odd reason, I just love using this thing in the kitchen. Um, and it 
slices through everything really well food wise so that's uh the main reason I've been really carrying this guy is because it turns out it's a really good chef's knife um the weird edge especially if you're cutting veggies the the weird edge you kind of have to uh cut more than chop like you can chop but this little flat here kind of keeps you from uh fully chopping whatever you're cutting so you kind of have to cut a little tidbit if you want actually want to use this as a chef knife also um and then aside from that i usually have the glass of chamois but i used it earlier and forgot to put it back usual lighter um hand them out to smokers i don't really i try not to smoke that often if i do it's like once every couple months um but also again it's cold you may need to start a fire eventually or might have to chapstick self-explanatory it has some couple other uses um if you want to know what they are i'm pretty sure they're all over the internet all right and everything but my utility pockets oh and i lied i do have the chamois <laughs> cleaning glasses and shit so again we uh my everyday flashlight is my little stream light knockoff the usg or ugs by xp1 great little everyday pocket light um same as usual fisher space bullet pen love this guy fucking amazing um pry bar absolutely saves the hell out of your pocket knife and really good bottle opener haven't used the wrenches on it and another weird thing i've been starting to edc it's weird not being able to see my face <laughs> um is a, a a button compass i was talking with a buddy about that anyway and i was saying that like most around town like our town small enough to where it's probably eight hour walk from end to end at its furthest point um that a lot of people wouldn't know what to do if there was an end to the world as we know it uh phone connections internet this and that like a lot of people just don't have the basic skills to you know point a to point b and uh I know my bearings well enough around town that even if I'm in a part of town I don't know if I could see certain landmarks I know which I at least know my north to south uh, line and how to get where I need to from where I'm at um so that's everything in the pockets and the last two big things that I've usually done in my last one so again not always on me unless I'm outside of work. Uh, we got the Brighton 92. We will safety check it because this is my everyday gun. And now we are safe. No magazine, empty chamber. Brighton 92, I absolutely love this gun. I may do another video because the one I did before was kind of shitty. And I just verified my account so I can actually do an in-depth video that's longer than 15 minutes. But I love this thing. And the I carry that in a Black Hawk Neoprene in the waistband uh, slipper tension holster. Uh, depending, sometimes I side carry. If I side carry, I open carry under the jacket. So I, I stuff the shirt behind the handle and have it outwards. Um, if I have multiple layers, it doesn't print as much. And I, 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 I kind of try and center it as much as possible because I want to get to my back pocket and my front pocket without showing my firearm. Um, and I guess to explain that more, though uh, I prefer to conceal carry um, as much as possible if I can. And the only reason is that is because I don't want to be off-putting. I'm just trying to get out and enjoy my everyday life. Um, I carry a firearm for a Justin, maybe. If I need it, I have it. If I don't need it, it would be nice to have if I ever did. So, that's why I like the personal carries. I'm not out here trying to make a statement and be like, Oh, guns are amazing, which I, in my opinion they are. I love guns. But, I 
concealed carry because it's not off-putting. I can still go out, enjoy my day, have as less um, interaction with the public as possible. Because I'm weird. Uh, I'm social, but when it comes to people, I don't know. I'm just like, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> not in a threatening way, but it's like, dude, I really don't care. A um, little bit of an introvert. So, the less attention towards me, the better. Um, so I really like the, the gray man thing, you know, like, like I said, I, I, I just try and dress like everyday schmo, jeans, this and that, just trying to blend in, look as normal as possible and get on with my day, get out, do what I need to do, come home. Um, but the other thing I also started carrying was I heard this, uh, this thing online, uh, somewhere on YouTube years ago was that this one EDC -er, uh, I've only seen the video once and was never able to find it again or I'd, or I'd be like, this guy did it before I did. <laughs> but anyway, um, he carried a knife soft hand, weak hand. And so that way he could be defensive and if you got an altercation where you needed to defend your gun, um, someone's up on you trying to get your gun, trying to get it away from you, trying to do bad shit. Um, he, he called it the, the get the fuck off me knife. And I thought that was a cool concept. And none of my pocket knives I've ever tried weekend because they're all my EDC knives. I need them for like actual shit, not getting soft hand and actually doing. And the other thing is, is I don't play with a knife with my left hand. So if I ever had to use a knife left handed, it would be a process, especially if I had to try and ward someone off, trying to get someone off me and then try and fumble and play with the fucking knife with my left hand. Just because I don't use it for anything except for working out. <laughs> it's weird. Don't, don't make it weird. Don't take it out of context. Or you can. It's fine. I'm a fucking perv too. But anyway, so what I, to fix, remedy that was I weekend carry tip up a fixed blade boot knife and so this way if I ever needed uh, a soft hand knife um and needed it for get the fuck off me dude I have it accessible I have it tip up again so it's easy I'm not trying to get up pull up and out this is just a a more natural way so like you know you're defending 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 it's out and this is on a slip retention or pressure retention I guess so this is a Smith & Wesson HRT um, it is legal or it is legal to have a dagger here so I grinded an edge on the other side of this one this one was originally a single edge knife so uh yeah, so it's slip retention, really nice, the rubber really grips the fake Kydex, whatever the fuck it is. And, uh, yeah, so that guy just pops in. It's got a, a belt clip, so I just clip it on when I'm heading out the door. And, yeah, so that's, uh, my recent EDC. Um, big changes... If I can, I, I like to carry outside, or not outside the waistband, but outside the t-shirt, under the jacket. If not, I still appendix carry. Um, just because I like uh, the idea of when I watch an Instructor Zero video, where this is off, this isn't off-putting, but you're still living in the yellow. Um, like if you're judging a situation like that guy gives me bad vibes, his uh, freaking me the fuck out, but I don't want to jump to conclusions just yet, so this is a good ready point, but you're not off-putting, and if you need to, you got one hand free for getting the shirt out of the way, one hand just for extracting the gun, where if I'm over here, and I'm trying to get through all my layers, I only have one hand to do so, and if I have it under the t-shirt, under the jacket, again, it's going to be hard to get through all this shit swiftly. Um, another thing, this is weird too, but uh, 
before I watched the instructor zero and before I started carrying a gun, that was my natural stance anyway. Um, say like, um, five minutes on a bike trail out in the fucking woods, right? And I'm living in the yellow. I see a group of people walking up. They look like trouble. I don't want to be off-putting. I don't want to be accusing. I don't want to be like prematurely profiling, which I kind of am anyway. What I do is, is thumbs in the pocket. So I'm just, I'm walking like this. Everything's fine. Everything good. You're looking like you're walking anyway. But the nice thing about this is, is you're already holding the knife. I got my thumb rested behind the pocket knife. And it just looks like I got my hands in my pockets and I'm walking by. They walk by, they do their thing, nothing happens. Fine, hand just comes out of pocket. You walk down the road as usual. Do do do, right? But anyway, but uh, and that's the other reason I like the lanyard too, is if I ever had to use the knife, Again, thumbs in pocket, you're just chilling. You grab lanyard, knife, thumbs already on the knife, pull out, flip, ready to go. And so my EDC knife can flex into a defensive knife also. And it's the same concept as Instructor Zero, it's instead of having full hands in the pockets, it's just the thumb. Slide the thumb behind the knife. Kind of keep the, the lanyard resting in the palm. You're not grabbing it yet, and it's out. So there, I've, I've given you some of my secrets, some of my stuff. Um, the only reason I feel like it should be proficient in these things isn't that you have a need for this, but it's nice to know these things. To, uh, I believe in training, safety training and training to use your thing. Because if you ever had to use it, you should be proficient in it, whatever it is. Um, I work out so I don't have to pull a knife. Um, I carry a knife to defend my firearm. I carry a firearm to defend my life against another firearm. Um, they're all in tiers. Because that's another thing I don't know if people do too. Because I, I know some people just strap on a gun and go on their way. But I believe first and foremost these are your, your weapons. These should be your first choice in defense. If it escalates, you have a tool to accommodate for that situation. So it's never 0 to 50. It's never, it's never calm to gun. It's, well, for me anyway. Um, if it's just a physical altercation, I'll get physical. Um, if the situation presents itself to where I need a knife, I carry a knife. But what I tell people first and foremost, this is a tool. I carry this as a utility blade. First and foremost. I do not put this in my pocket expecting to, or not expecting, but thinking to defend my life with it. Um... I will if I have to, but first and foremost, this is a tool, and that's why I carry a pocket knife. Is I don't carry this expecting to use it as a weapon. It goes in the pocket thinking I might have to cut a sandwich today on my lunch break, or I'll need to open a box, or I'll need to open some packaging, or I'll need to open some mail. That's what I expect to do with my pocket knife when I carry a pocket knife. Um, it flexes into a uh, defense if I had to. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> that got a lot more preachier than I wanted it to. But this has been a look at my EDCs, uh, some updates to what I carry. Uh, oddly enough, this little guy has picked up so much attention for some odd reason people just fucking love this thing um not the zt not the crkt uh even my fucking cheap ass knife what is that i haven't done a video yet on it but i'll get around to it the um 
Taiwanese Lightning. Uh, this has actually been the most... Um, everyone just loves it. Everyone's like, hey, what knife is that? What do you got there? And I'm like, oh, it's just a, a Remington Sportsman series I got in a, in a gift box for Christmas from my auntie. And I never carried it, but uh, I decided to start carrying it. Just because I haven't. Um, so yeah, so this is a little longer than what I usually do, but I thought I'd uh, give a little more explanation. And I got another random explanation vlog that I'll get around to too, which is, uh, why I EDC and why I prep and what got me into this. Um, just to give you a little more look into me, um, little ways I think in the systems I carry and why I do and why I carry them. Well, all right, guys, this is Davis. Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, we're rolling into Monday night. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you have a great week. Get out, do some shit, enjoy life, have some experiences. Well, yeah, then again, this is Davis, uh, signing off.